Hey dear fashion bosses, how are you doing? Welcome to today's tutorial. So in today's class, we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful outfit. It is very beautiful, very classy, very corporate. It can pass for all occasion, okay? So if this is what you would like to learn how to make, please stay to the end of this class. You can't afford to miss this class okay and do not forget to subscribe okay thank you all right so we're on the cutting table now okay um my name still remains faith abraham i have not done that creative director of fashion boss innovations academy we upload sewing tutorials and edward tutorials on this channel please take note okay so in this class there is so much for us to learn we are going to learn the outfit you saw on the thumbnail so let me list the things you'll be learning. You'll be learning how to make that pinafore dress, okay? And you're learning how to make a skirt with hip and butt allocation. The butt allocation is to enable your butt sits properly, you know, at the back of your dress, okay? So we are allocating hip and butt allocation to this dress. And then we are also going to learn how to make a pleated vet okay so a pleated vet at the back of the dress so instead of having a slit at the back of the dress you will be having a pleated vet it's also very beautiful instead of a slit okay so you stay tuned to the end of this class don't go nowhere all right so we're going to start by drafting the upper bodies okay so we are, we are going to deduct the upper bodies from the total measurements of the dress. The total measurement of the dress is 46 inches, while the half length is 16 inches. So we are drafting the upper bodies first, okay? So I've gone ahead to roll my starting line, okay? And then the measurements you basically need for this class is just your shoulder measurements and your bust span so we are imputing our shoulder measurements now it is 16 inches divided by two you're going to have eight so because it is sleeveless instead of using eight you're going to reduce it to seven seam allowance inclusive so that it's not dangling or falling beyond your shoulders okay so we're going to be measuring seven inches for our shoulder instead of eight inches okay and then i'm measuring the length of the upper body is now 16 inches plus one inch seam allowance making a total of 17 inches half inch to join the upper bodies to the lower bodies half inch for the shoulder um joining also okay so having done that we are going to impute our bust pan so the bust pan for this project is eight inches so bust pan is the, your nipple to nipple okay it's also called nipple to nipple or distance between bust or bust pan okay so it is eight inches divided by two we are going to have four so i'm just going to go ahead right now to impute the four inches okay same allowance also in no the same allowance is not inclusive okay right now when cutting the fabric we are going to um, um we are going to add a seam allowance or still you can just go ahead to add your 0 0.5 inch seam allowance okay so however it's convenient for you it's fine okay so we are almost done with the drafting of the upper bodies the front panel right now so the next thing for us to do is to impute a neckline so we're using a neck width of three inches you can use between three inches and 3.5 depending on the size of the person you're using it for and the neck depth is eight inches is a v neck line okay so i'm using a eight inches depth it is a v neckline so i just imputed that so i'm going to um draw a straight line to give me my v from the neck to the eight inches but i'm thinking i should use a slight curve instead of a straight line okay so i'll just use a slight curve for the neckline yeah so here we are guys and then we are done with the front panel of this garments okay so we're just going to go right now to cut it off but before we do that we have to impute or introduce our shoulder slants okay 
So I've just done that and that is it for the front panel upper body. So I'm going ahead right now to cut it off. So after cutting, I'm just going to label this as front panel, okay? And then we are going to go straight into cutting the back panel, into drafting the back panel, rather. So this is the um, pattern paper for a back panel. I already measured out two inches on my zipper allowance yet. Yes, it's going to have a zipper behind it at the back. So I have my zipper of two inches, okay? And then I impute my shoulder measurement. The same thing we did in the front, basically. Nothing, dif the difference between the front and the back is just the zipper and then the neckline, okay? So it's a neck width of 1.5, neck depth of 1.5 inches and a width of three inches. And then I'll just connect it. I measure my neck width depth of 1.5 and then I draw a straight line into the zipper allowance area. Connect my shoulder to my boss pan line and then we are done drafting the back panel for the upper bodies, okay? So we are just going to use this pattern right now to cut our fabric. So I actually use the same fabric as my main fabric and as my lining. Okay, so you can choose to do that or use a normal lining for the inside and then your main fabric for the outer. Okay, so if you are using your fabric for the inner and the outer, you are cutting in twos, okay, your lining and your main fabric. If you are using a lining, you are cutting your main fabric and then your lining basically. That is it. And I'm just going to label this as the back panel. That's the zipper area. And then I'm going to, I'm drawing this arrow because this is going to be cut on fold. The front part is going to be cut on fold, on fold. Okay, on fold. So please don't forget. Okay, so guys, this is the remaining um, length for the dress. After deducting the upper bodies, this is the skirt part now. And also do not forget, the skirt is not just an ordinary plain skirt. It is going to have a hip and butt allocation. Do not forget, okay? A hip and butt allocation, all right? And then it's also going to have a pleated vet at the back, okay? So I have my lines drawn out, my starting line, my hip line, my nail line, the length and then two inches allowance for folding and turning of the hem, okay? So I'm going to input a hip measurement now. So how do you achieve your hip allocation? It is your hip measurements divided by four. Hip measurement divided by four minus one so the hip measurement is 46 divided by four it is 10 11.5 minus one you will now have 10.5 plus two inch seam allowance or whatsoever inches you use as your seam allowance that is it so whatever we have on the hip line we are going to extend it to the waistline to the new line and then to the hem of this um fabric okay and then we are just going to connect the line the marks together with a straight line 
do not forget your hip measurement divided by four minus one plus your allowance whatsoever amount you use for your allowance okay so we are connecting that that is to achieve your hip allocation okay so after doing that after doing that i came up by one inches on the hip line and then i came down by two inches on the hip line do not forget that one inches on the hip line two inches i came up one inches and then by one i came up by one inch and then came down by two inches on the hip line okay and then i went ahead to take my actual waist measurement and then i connected it into that one inch okay and then on the new area right now it depends on how penciled you want it to be okay you can subtract between one inch 1.5 inch and two inches depends on how penciled and how fitted you want it to be okay so i'm going to subtract one inch away from what we have right now okay one inch i one inch away from what we have right now okay one inch and then i bring down the same measurements to the hem one inch away from what we have on the hip line the seam allowance inclusive okay we have it on our knee line and then on the hem and then from that these two inches that we chalked we are going to connect into the knee line and then into the hem As you can see, we've created a hip allocation. And guys, this is it basically. You see the hip area well protruded, you know, well penciled, you know, at the knee area down to the hem, looking all beautiful. So basically, this is how to allocate your hip allocation. So I'm going to cut this now and then use it to cut the back and also allocate for the back. Okay, but before we do the back, let's introduce our dart. So it is our bust span divided by two plus half inch. Okay, so this length is five inches. The length for our dart is five inches. Okay, and then I came in and out by half inch, half inch on both sides of the dart's leg, and then I connected the half inch into the dart's leg. And that is our dart, guys. Do not forget to notch it. So this is for the front panel of the skirt. So we are going to um, be cutting for the back panel of the skirt. Now, in cutting this back, we are going to um, introduce the pleated vets. Okay? Pleated vets. So as you can see, I have this fabric ss fabric you know on the table i've rolled it out this is 10 inches this 10 inches is meant for the pleated vet okay 10 inches is what we're using for the pleated vet so you first of all mark out your 10 inches and connect it with a straight roller okay your 10 inches and then you will also go ahead to mark you know, if without a pleat, you will mark out two inches for your zipper allowance. But now we are not doing two inches for the zipper allowance. I'm marking out about three and a half inches after the 10 inches line. Two inches for your zippers. And then the remaining one and a half inches, we are going to use it for our bot allocation. Okay. So I mark three and a half inches after the 10 inches. I draw a straight line and then I place the front panel on the line, on the three and a half inches line, okay? And then on this hip line now, I am marking one inch. So that one inch is to replace 
the one inch that we subtracted, yes, that we subtracted from the front panel, from the hip allowance when we are cutting the front panel, okay? That is the one inch I just marked on the hip line now. And then I'm going to connect from that one inch into the waistline of this front panel, as you can see me do. Okay, it's not difficult. Just follow it. Okay? And then from the waistline, I am coming down by 8 inches now. And then I'm going to connect from that hip line into that 8 inches. I meant from the hip line, I came down by 8 inches. And then I connected from the hip line into the 8 inches. And I just used my curve ruler to make that curve a little realistic. We have created our bot allowance. And then from that point now, I'm marking out two inches for my zipper allowance. Please. It looks technical, but it's not difficult. Okay. Just follow what I'm saying. Repeat this video over and over again. You will get it. So I'm going to continue marking two inches down to my nail line. Okay. So my nail line is where the pleated vet is going to start from. Or you can come up by one inch from your nail line. You come up by one inch from your nail line. That is where your pleated vet is going to start from. It's just like your slits, okay? And then I will connect it into the extra 10 inches all the way. As you can see me do, all the way, okay? And then we are going to cut from... That's line now we have measured into the 10 inches for the pleated um, vet. Just watch the way I'm going to cut it. It's not difficult, guys. It's not difficult. It is not difficult at all. Okay, so this part right now is going to serve as our pleats. Okay, and then this is the side. I just showed you the side of the skirt. So we are cutting right now. Please follow through. I cut the 10 inches into where I have my 2 inch zipper allowance this way into the waistline. That is it guys. This is it. It is not difficult. And then I'm going to cut out this upper part is not needed. It's our starting line. Okay. And then I'm going to notch my zipper allowance. Please make sure you notch because this back part, this butt part, the zipper part is looking like the side where you have the hip. So please make sure you notch. Okay. So I'm cutting the side now. Okay. Also make sure that you are seeing what I'm doing. This is the side the hip area you see it's looking like the back area it is because of all the allocations so please make sure you notch your zipper allowance and so guys we are done with this curtain okay so you just use this to cut your lining if you are using a lining okay so I'm, this is the upper body part and i'm going to cut use it to cut on my fabric cuts um use this to cut on my fabric okay i told you are cutting on fold you're cutting in double if you're using the same fabric okay and then cut use my skirt to cut my lining i'm using a normal lining for the skirt okay so we are going to start stitching right about now okay so this is the skirt the front panel and then also have my lining so i place the lining on the skirt so that we can use the lining to turn the the main fabric and then you're going to sew on both sides but you first of all sew the down parts like this Pull the lining up because I reduced my lining by 1.5 inches, okay, to get a proper finishing at the bottom part. So you sew the under part first before sewing the side. You pull it up so that it becomes equal. And then this is the 
pleated vest, the back panel. This is how it is, okay? So you just open it up this way. Place your lining on it. The lining is exactly the same way too. You place it on it. Like you can see me illustrate, guys. It's not difficult, okay? And then you sew the down part first. All right? Knowing fully whether the lining is a little shorter than the main fabric. You sew the sides. Okay? You just turn it. You're using it to turn. Basically, you sew the side into this way like this. But you can pin. Pin. Sew it into this way. Okay? Take it to the, the up. So you can see me illustrate. You finish it here. Okay? And then you come to the side. And then you sew. Guys, it's not difficult. I know you guys are professionals. But please endeavor to pin this part. Okay? So that everything is properly accurate. Okay? And then you turn it from this part. Okay? You turn it from this part. So that is for that. So this is the upper bodies, okay, the pin for the upper bodies basically. So I introduced my um, interface saying I use a soft um, um, gum, a soft um, paper stay and also a stay because I need the firmness, okay. So this is the front panel, the back panel. I place it side by side, bring the front panel, you know. And then place it side by um, front part, facing front part, and then sew the shoulder. You do the same to the lining. This is the, as so I've joined, okay, the back part to the front part, the back panel to the front panel. And this is the lining also. So I just place it this way, okay. It is an inseam finishing for the upper parts. Make sure you place accurately and properly and then please pin, pin, pin guys, pin, okay? So after pinning, I'm going to sew the neck the way I'm illustrating now, this way, sew the neckline this way first, okay? Then I'm going to come to the side and sew. Don't sew this down side I'm showing you. Don't sew the down side. That's where you're going to turn. Sew the side. Sew the side. Okay. The neckline. You sew the side I'm showing you. From there, that's where you're starting from. Take you into the neckline, okay? I'm reiterating into the neckline. And then it will bring you back to this other part. I'm showing you how to turn it, guys. So after doing that, you come to the side and then you sew. You come to the other side and then you sew. Nothing can be more explicit guys don't sew this down part don't sew this down part okay because that is where we are going to be using to turn it inside out don't sew this down part so don't sew this down part okay so let me sew and then come back to us and when you are done sewing you turn it inside out you iron cut off excesses and ironed so this is the back panel of the skirt. We have sewn, we have turned it inside out, and we have ironed. Okay, so I just place it this way. The same way we cut it, guys. Okay, just follow what I am showing you. Okay. I know how many jobs this thou brought to me. The moment you are able to replicate it well, hmm. So I'm taking my zipper allowance of 1.5 inches after turning. Okay, so I just measure my zipper allowance. So when I get to this point right now, I'm going to be measuring my 10 inches from that beginning part 
I want to measure my 10 inches first for my vet, my plated vet. Watch carefully. Okay, I connect with a straight line. I'm sure that my 10 inches is in place, is in place for me, nothing tempered with it. And then I continue measuring my 1.5 inch zipper allowance. I'm doing all of this for accuracy sake and purpose, guys. Nothing can be more explicit, guys. And then I'm going to sew it down with a loose stitch, especially to, to where my zipper is going to stop. And then from there, I use a tight stitch to sew. So the stitch is going to end at this point where I'm showing you right now. That is where your stitch, that is where your tight stitch is going to end. Then from that part to the end is going to be loose stitch because we're still going to loosen it. Okay. So this is what we have after sewing. Okay. So this is our dangling 10 inches for our plates. So I open it up this way equally okay i'll take it again i make sure i got the the half length the the midpoint sorry that's i'm ironing it to get the line okay of the midpoint so this is the midpoint so i open it up this way and i place that midpoint okay that midpoint yes where we have the line to so meet with the midpoint of our skirt where we sewed okay where we sewed okay but before we do that we are going to divide this 10 inches into three so you divide your 10 inches by three whatsoever you have you mark it 10 inches divided by three are going to be having something like 3.3 inches okay so this is the first 3.3 inches this is the second one okay this way i divided the 10 inches by three okay i'm going to extend this line down to the m okay the same thing so that we can get a straight line when ruling no mistake guys okay no mistake accuracy is key be professional make sure your jobs are are very neat okay so i'm going to take the sewing machine and then i'll, I'll run the loose stitch on this lines right now yes loose stitch loose stitch guide but we're still going to lose in it so i'm done running my loose stitch on those lines okay so we now have something like pockets or columns okay so i open up my skirts this way okay and then i take the first column now we now have columns after running stitches on it and then i place the seam of the first column on the seam of the skirt like it becomes now midpoint meeting with the midpoint okay where you have where you you have the the stitch you place it you open it up like you saw me illustrate and make sure it meets with your zipper line okay and you iron the way you can see me illustrate you have to iron guys you have to do this when there is light you have to iron for neat finishing you do the same to the second column you open up this way and place it guys you can see me i have to shine my eyes to do this you see how close my head is to the project and then you iron okay you iron this is to give you a beautiful this will give you very beautiful um pleats when you are done you must iron okay whilst doing this and then the last column you open it up you see the midpoint meeting with your midpoint guys you see everything is equal i'm sure you can see everything is equal if you did not get it at first go back to this video keep rewinding keep rewinding until you get it and then you sew firmly 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 on this part i'm showing you firmly 
okay, firmly and neatly. But before taking it, make sure you paint so that your pleat that you've set does not unravel, okay? So I've sewn and this is what we have. At this point, we are not going to lose in it. You see the pleat, it is set. So I'll just leave it like this. I'm not going to lose in it yet, okay? So I bring my back panel. So it's not very equal with the front panel. I'm sure you can see. It's looking very equal with the front panel. You won't know that it was a 10 inches um, um, extra. So, and then you shape it. It is after shaping, you cannot lose in those stitches, okay? So you shape it. So at this point now, you can just add your band and it is a skirt, okay? Add your band and your zippers and your skirt is ready. But we are not doing a skirt, just a skirt. We are making a dress. But at this point, just add your band and your skirt is ready, your band and zipper, okay? So right now, this is the band that is going to connect us with the upper bodies, okay? So I measured... My band is exactly the waist measurement of this project, okay? Exact the, as the exact measurement of this project. So we are going to reduce this upper body by 2 inches because we are replacing it with a band. Hope you understand. 2 inches. We are reducing the upper bodies, okay? 2 inches, okay? So I'm just going to cut it off. I'm actually taking off 1.5. I left 0 0.5 inch, okay, as a joining allowance. But you are reducing 2 inches, okay? So this is the band, okay? The band is 3 inches, okay? Yes, it is 3 inches. 2 inches for what we just took off. Half inches to join the band to the skirt. Half inch to join the band to the skirt. And half inch... Yes, to join the band to the skirt and half inch to join the band, the skirt now to the upper bodies, okay? I went ahead to introduce my soft um, paper stay to it, okay? So I am trying to notch the midpoints right now because it's very essential, okay? So I also notch the midpoints of my skirts, And then I place, you are cutting the band in two pieces, please. So I place the midpoint of the band to the midpoint of the skirt. You are cutting the band in two pieces, the exact size of your skirt circumference. So I place the under one, under the second band, under the skirt. So we are trying to sandwich the band Sandwich the band of the skirts into this band. So after this, you now go and sew. Okay. You sew this band right now to the skirts. Okay. Round about it. All right. So guys, I have sewn. It's just like you're adding a normal band to your skirts. Okay. I have sewn. And this is the inside view. So I also went ahead to fold the upper parts of the band by 0 0.5 inch okay so that it will be easy for us to sandwich the upper bodies to the skirts right now okay 0 0.5 inch all around you can see i folded with my iron okay so after doing this this is the midpoint of the skirt please note you can even roll it out with a chalk so I also have the midpoints of the upper bodies and then my 0 0.5 inch seam allowance, okay? That's the seam allowance. I left 0 0.5 inch. So I place this upper bodies now, okay? So the skirt part, midpoint to midpoint. Midpoint to midpoint, okay? Midpoint to me i'm emphasizing it because it's very crucial midpoint to midpoint when you are able to get your midpoint to meet you then use your pins to hold it down okay
I held I'm holding it down with my pins right now okay so that it does not move it should not move it cannot move so I'm, I'll just hold that and then I will go to the back part okay so the back part you flip over your upper bodies making sure that everything is you know properly laid and then this is my half inch also and then i place it on the zipper allowance this way you just place it directly from the zipper allowance you don't need to to get a midpoint you know for this back part the zipper allowance of the upper body is made with the zipper allowance of your skirt. Okay. You are good to go. Okay. And then you pin. Arrange it properly and then you pin. I do the same to the other side. Oh, so guys, we're almost done with this project. And then I will take it to my sewing machine and sew round about it with a neat stitch. Okay? Round about it. And then your dress is ready. After this, you just add your zipper allowance. I mean, just add your zippers. Okay? So this is it basically. You just add your zippers okay and your dress is ready and then you will come down to the skirt the down or the, the where we have the pleats this is this is what we have guys it's looking all beautiful and then you come down to the back and then you're losing your stitches the stitches from the three columns that you created this way okay to give you oh god this project is beautiful okay Please make sure you call me to send, to appreciate me, to ask me to send you my account balance, okay, for this project. Ask me to send you my account, not balance, so that you can send me money. <laughs> all right, so this is the plate. It's looking all beautiful, guys. Oh, so basically, this is the outcome of the outfit. Beautiful, guys, beautiful. So create this and let us see what you came up with. Drop it on. Uh, 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 either a Facebook group, Facebook page, or on our WhatsApp discussion group. Okay, this is what we have, guys. Thank you so very much for staying tuned. Bye.